Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link. Quick uh, late evening update as of 10 o'clock Thursday evening. The heavy rain from today gone. Uh, we're still kind of damp. The humidity is on the high side. There's been a little bit of fog every now and then in places like Newport. Though visibility right now not too bad, but mainly cloudy skies. Uh, some mist every now and then, but the heavy rain is gone. We picked up about an uh, inch, inch and a half of rain. High temps today feeling more like uh, autumn, only in the upper 50s. Boy, that's pretty cool for mid-June, almost uh, the calendar version of summer. You can see out towards the Cape and the Islands, it was a little milder. Much milder for your Friday afternoon. We're thinking lower 70s. That's more like it. In fact, take a look at some of the rainfall totals for your Thursday. Uh, not as heavy as the rainstorm we had earlier in the week, but anywhere from uh, you know, about a half inch to inch and a quarter of rain and producing uh, some ponding of uh, water on the roadways today, but uh, nothing more than that. So uh, a damp night overnight, meaning uh, you know the humidity is high. There may be a little mist and some fog. Drier for Friday, I would say 95% of the day. What do you mean by that? Well, there may be a quick shower during the uh, afternoon hours, but the key words here are quick isolated, very random. A better part of the day is actually dry, so I don't want to give the impression that uh, we have a wet day coming up on Friday. It looks basically dry, and uh, even better on Saturday, brighter and warmer. Take a look at the uh, satellite and radar composite, and here's the wider view, and the uh, system that came through today is now offshore. Uh, tracking another weather disturbance, you can see it spinning across uh, the Great Lakes. What will happen is this is going to swing up into a northern New England on Friday afternoon, but it may be enough to reduce a brief, isolated, random kind of a sun shower, so a quick pop-up shower. It's one of those deals where if you catch one, it lasts all of 10 minutes, it's gone, the sun comes back out, so that kind of a deal. So overall, uh, not too bad as far as uh, a mainly dry day on Friday. In fact, let me walk you through it on the, on the forecast. Starting off through the overnight. Now, tomorrow morning, at Friday morning at around 5, 6 a.m., we do start with some low clouds and fog, but watch how it burns off. Skies become partly sunny. Unlike uh, Thursday, when the high was only in the upper 50s, we're in the lower 70s for your Friday afternoon, and that's more like it. Now, watch this. Little tiny blips of uh, green popping up, and these are just very widely scattered and random, you know, little shower and you can see the sun comes back out you know isolated shower while the next town over the sun's out so again not a big deal if you catch one it'll be gone rather rapidly in your friday evening friday night looking good clear skies 11 o'clock friday night uh, we are clear and dry with temperatures that are in the uh, lower 60s so for your friday morning early morning clouds and fog burning off to uh, partly sunny skies starting off in the low 60s and then during the afternoon we'll top out at around 73 a blend of clouds and sunshine and that quick isolated shower in a couple of spots nothing more than that hey warmer on saturday looking good a uh, good deal of sunshine and uh, temperatures topping out in the upper 70s to uh, lower 80s of course can't ignore uh, Father's Day Sunday, which you know, we've been saying this now for the last several days. It's partly sunny, seasonably warm, meaning around 76. A uh, scattered shower can't be ruled out. We just think as though uh, Sunday as a whole doesn't look like a rain day or a washout, but that can't rule out a passing shower and your temperatures topping out again, mid-70s. Warmer next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. In fact, warm and humid on Monday. Keep an eye to the sky during the afternoon for uh, a shower or even a strong uh, thunderstorm. There'll be more humidity to work with on um, on Monday. So some improvement for Friday despite that quick shower in a couple of spots and even better on Saturday. Check back with us on Eyewitness News tonight at 11 o'clock and of course Michelle's in bright and early uh, Friday morning at 4.30 a.m. with your updated forecast as well. Thanks for logging in to Weather Now and we'll talk to you soon.